Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up Drupal in the cloud for beginners. In this tutorial series, we're going to go over setting up Drupal on an EC2 server, as well as MySQL on an RDS instance. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to show you the security groups that I've already pre-created uh, before this tutorial. These security groups are EC2 Drupal, and this allows SSH and HTTP access, and the RDS is just MySQL only to the EC2 Drupal server. So we can go ahead and launch our EC2 server. We're going to choose Ubuntu, and a T2 Micro is fine since it's just a demo, and these settings are going to be okay. And 8 gig is fine because it's a demo, but I would recommend upping that for a production server. And we'll tag it as Drupal, and we'll select our security group of EC2 Drupal. And we can go ahead and launch that. And the next thing we need to do is we need to create an RDS instance. So we'll jump over to RDS. We first need to create a subnet group, so we're going to go to Create Subnet Group. We'll give it a name of Drupal, we'll select our VPC, and add all of our subnets. Click Create. And now we can go to instances and we can launch our DB instance. We'll choose MySQL and we can say no to multi-AZ because we don't need that right now for a demo. A T2 micro is fine. And I would recommend upping this for a production server, but five gigs is fine. And we'll give it everything of Drupal tutorial just to keep things simple. Publicly accessible is gonna be no. And our security group will be our RDS security group. And again, to keep it simple, we'll keep it as Drupal tutorial for the database name. And we don't need a backup at this time. And we can launch the DB instance. Now that our server is online, we can go ahead and log into it. And all we're going to do is install the components needed for Drupal. And I have these handy for myself in a different tab, but I've also uh, put this in my GitHub, which I'll link below. So I've already updated my server, and I'm just going to install these components here real quick. A couple things I need to configure for P uh, Apache and PHP. For Apache, I need to enable a couple, uh, a couple modules, headers, and rewrite. And I'm also going to enable mcrypt for PHP. And also provide a sample configuration file for Apache. So we'll go ahead and configure that now. And we'll just delete what's ever in the default there. And we'll put the sample that I've created for you. We can go ahead and save that. And now we need to go to our www folder and we're going to download the latest version of Drupal, which at this, uh, this moment is 7.36, but this should be the same for any, any version. And now we can unzip that. And to keep things clean, we're going to go ahead and just rename that folder to just Drupal. Great. Now we need to set some permissions and we need to set the ownership of that folder. So we'll go ahead and CD into that directory, set some permissions, and we'll go ahead and set the ownership. And now we can restart Apache. And once Apache is restarted, we can go to the public IP address of that server and we can see that Drupal is up and running. So if we copy the public IP and we go to that server, we can see that we get the install of Drupal. So we can go ahead and run through this install, save and continue, save and continue. And remember, we kept this as Drupal tutorial here, and we need to go to the advanced settings because we're using an external database. So our database host, we can go to our RDS and we can copy the endpoint. We're going to go ahead and paste that in there. Make sure you delete the 3306 in that colon. And for database port, you can add 3306 in there. Save and continue. And it's going to go ahead and install Drupal on that database. So we'll go ahead and give that a second. Great, so Drupal is all installed and now we can edit some configurations. We'll add our email. Our username, we're just gonna keep the same as that Drupal tutorial. Same with our password. I'm gonna set my country.
and I don't need to receive any emails uh, from Drupal since this is just a demo. We'll save and continue. Great, so Drupal is all installed and we can view our site and we can see that we have Drupal up and running. So now what I want to show you is I want to go to the report section and just to show you that everything is all set up correctly, if we go to status report, we can see that our server is configured correctly. So that concludes our tutorial for setting up Drupal in the cloud uh, for beginners. What we went over is launching an EC2 server, uh, running through the commands to install Drupal, as well as setting up a MySQL server that our Drupal instance will connect to. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.